I'd love to close with a question about, you know, your the journey here. It's like mm. for the women that are listening that have that soul desire to slow down and to strip away mm -hmm. and to really find out who they are mm -hmm. and get comfortable with themselves. What would you say about this process? You know, really getting to know the true soul essence of you and not the ego. Yeah. How has that felt? Yeah, that's a really big question too. Um, because to some degree, this is about intuition. Mm -hmm. We already know. Uh, that doesn't feel like the right answer, but yes. Mm -hmm. We already know, we already know, we already know, we already know, we already know. We're just hiding from it. Or we're talking to ourselves differently about it. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to convince yourself otherwise about it. We already know. And so this idea that you should go find it elsewhere, that you should follow some pattern that somebody has laid out for you. You should write the pro and con list. You should write the five-year plan. Those are all lies. They're covers of what is already there. It really is. And so the work is not so much about finding it externally or like understanding what the process is going to be, but really understanding that it already exists. And so all you have to do is pay attention. It is there. Mm. You know, maybe you feel like it's that little voice in the back of your head somewhere <laughs> that keeps whispering. <laughs> you don't need medication. It's you, you know, mm -hmm. or maybe it's very, very loud and you're trying to cover it with something else. You know, maybe this is the sign. Maybe this is what you needed to hear to tell you that you should listen to that thing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you haven't been already, this is the time like right now to do it and act on it. Mm -hmm. You know, the amazing thing about intuition and like the voice and the spirit, which I have found oh my gosh, it's like such a wonderful thing, mm -hmm. is that it's really your friend. Hmm. You know, sometimes we know that inner voice and we feel afraid of it and we try to quiet it and we're like, shut the hell up, mm -hmm. you know? And we're a little afraid of it because it's telling the truth and you don't want to hear it, you know what I mean? So you get pissed off at it. Sure. It's like, would you shut up? I'm having a perfectly good life. And then you're over here trying to ruin it, <laughs> you know? It's true. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that it's like really your friend. And the more you listen, the more you act, the stronger it becomes. And that strength is incredible. It will give you power when you don't feel like you have it. You know, that idea of intuition, it is part of the hand I held when it was time for me to release my job. Yeah. Was knowing that like that voice was like, girl, you got to go. And I was like, okay, hold on. Let me grab my purse. Hold on one second. <laughs> hold my hand though, because I'm scared. You know what I mean? Like, so this is the sign. Mm -hmm. This is the sign. None of us are, are accidental. You're not listening to this accidentally. We're not yeah. in this room accidentally. Mm -hmm. All of us are in purpose. Mm -hmm. And so this is it. This is the sign. Thank you so much for tuning in to Morning Microdose by Almost 30. We hope you enjoyed waking up. As always, we encourage you to take what resonates and leave the rest. If you enjoyed this trip, tune into the full episode on the Almost 30 podcast. All episode information can be found in the show notes. Make sure to subscribe. And if this becomes a part of your morning routine, be sure to share it with a friend. We have new inspiring doses Monday through Friday. Follow us on Instagram at Morning Microdose and follow Almost 30 at Almost 30 Podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the vortex.